Sonata is about a group of children who search for the meaning of life because one of their classmates, Pierre Anton, he leaves the class uh, to sit in a plum tree and provokes them with a lot of statements like the earth is 4.6 billion years old and you live maximum to be 100, life isn't worth the bother. So the other children sets out uh, to try to prove to him that life has a meaning, but in fact they're trying to prove it to themselves and uh, they start to build a heap of meaning where each one has to sacrifice something that, that means something and it goes terribly wrong. So it's about yeah, that search for meaning of life that I think we all show, you know, must go on in our lives. We can push it aside, but it's still there. And it's about the fear that life doesn't have a meaning that is then what drives, in this case, the children to become fanatics about their project to find the meaning of life. But I think Actually, it's, it's a great honor to have Nada compared with books by, uh, by William Golding and Italo Calvino uh, and Salinger. Um, I mean, that's kind of breathtaking. But um, I see Nada very much as its own book. You know, it's particularly compared a lot to, to The Lord of the Flies. And um, I see Golding's children, they lose their sense of civilization when they are left alone by the adults and by the surrounding society. But in Nara, the absolute opposite happens, that here you have children surrounded by a society that offers them no meaningful civilization. So they go on the search for that meaning themselves and try to find out what matters. So it's their project um, up against a society that offers them none.